the cult of Scientology while pretending to be masters of communication and teach you to communicate on any level are masters at squashing those who speak out and are critical of it. The cult of Scientology tried to shut down my YouTube channel and this is the story of what occurred. Now, the reason they want to shut down my YouTube channel is to block my free speech. I did 35 years in there. I'm entitled to speak out as much as I want. That is my First Amendment right. The First Amendment rights doesn't belong just to the Church of Scientology. So, in February, I get a letter from Gary Soda. Who is Gary Soda? Gary Soda, S-O-T-E-R, is an attack dog lawyer for David Miscavige. Weeks, reams in the box of tax-exempt money to firewall the church and threaten critics. He replaced Elliot Abelson and seems to do the threat letters. So I received this. Now, Gary Soda threatens me at least once a year. And it's all hot air. I didn't read this. Knowing it was from Gary Soda, Gary Soda I knew it was a threat. So I sent it on to my lawyer. But I was angry because Gary Soda knows that I have counsel and it is a violation of the professional code of ethics to write directly to someone who has a lawyer. Lawyers write to lawyers and sort it all out. You don't write directly to someone. It was designed to get in my head. So I send the letter to my lawyer, and it's a, just a load of hyperventilating. <laughs> Somebody died, and this dead man had sent me some videos, and blah, 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 blah. Just designed to threaten. Hot air. Crying wolf. Huffing and puffing. So I waited, and the next thing is YouTube send me a notification that they've taken down nine videos of mine. And they say, we have been informed that there is copyright violation and blah, blah, blah. But YouTube were really helping me because they counted nine copyright violations. They didn't... On YouTube, they can take you out in three strikes, but YouTube bundled them all together. <laughs> We've had enough from the Church of Scientology, cult of Scientology. So, YouTube is telling me, I got these strikes, and one more strike would not be good for my channel. So Jeffrey and I go, what do we do? 
we Google for a copyright lawyer. And then we Google for best copyright lawyer. And we find a lawyer who's been in copyright law 31 years. And the lawyer is a specialist in Google, YouTube, Twitter, and Yahoo. So, <laughs> Jeffrey and I spend an afternoon with the lawyer. Ah, Karen, what nonsense. This is not even a fender bender. This is a scratch on your car that you can only see with a microscope. Hmm. So we respond to YouTube and say, nonsense, this was fair use. And YouTube are caught in the middle now. Now, the church know perfectly well the law of fair use. They tried this with Gawker in 2008 and they lost! that fair use is permitted. This was just designed to get in my head. Now, YouTube are not lawyers and they're not courts. And <laughs> the Court of Scientology said, copyright violation. And we said, no, fair use. So YouTube said, well, my lawyer interpreted what YouTube, YouTube gave the church 10 days to sue me. First of all, YouTube said, well, are you willing to go to court on this? And we said, absolutely, we'll go to court on this. Gave them my mailing address for service. And YouTube wrote and said, sue her. If you're so sure this is copyright, sue her. But if you don't. In 10 days, all her videos go back up and all these copyright strikes get removed. You know what is amazing to me? The cult of Scientology is supposed to protect their OT levels, their secret, secret OT levels, which are all over the web. There's this site called AmericanBuddha.com. Here it is. And all the Ned Froti secret materials and all the commands are right here. And the church doesn't lift a finger to take down their secret, secret, trademarked, valuable cash assets. But they're after me because I clip, because I have David Miscavige clips. David Miscavige little 30 second bleeps are more important than their precious OT levels. Look at these OT levels. So I wait. 10 days go by and YouTube writes to me. All your videos are back up and all your copyright strikes are removed. Your account is in healthy good standing. Oh. My lawyer explains to me all the legalese. You know, this is an extreme church bluff. It is illegal per the Digital Millennium Copyright Act known as DMCA. It is illegal to misuse this as it is only there for valid complaints of copyright. 
The church knew they were doing an illegal act by pretending to threaten. Pretending! It's fake! All hot air! I will close this video with a final thing. Do you know how many threats were sent to Larry Wright? I'm going clear. And then to Alex Gibney for the HBO documentary? Threat after threat after threat after threat. What happened? What happened? HBO documentary came and went. No lawsuit! Hot air! Bogus! The sound of silence.